Whoa, Kent Hughes! You didn't need to go out there and say that, man. Come on! So today, we had ourselves an article that dropped on Sportsnet that went over Edmonton Oilers stars Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. It talks about their struggles this season. It talks about their slumps. The article's a pretty good read, and I was going to go out there and make a video talking about that, despite the fact that just a few hours ago we made another Oilers video. And even now, this is kind of contradictory because it is yet another Oilers and Canadians video that we're making on this day. Because right after I saw the Dry Saddle and McDavid article, I ended up seeing another quote made by one Montreal Canadiens GM Kent Hughes and his own opinions as to the McDavid Dry Saddle situation. He kind of calls him out, to be honest. Like, straight up, he calls out the top two players on Edmonton in a weird, very different kind of way. So I'll try to lay the tail of the tape here for you. You had yourselves a Twitter user named Todic 96 and what they were doing was tweeting out a quote of Canadian's GM Kent Hughes, but if you try to look for that original tweet that he made, it actually got deleted. There is an explanation on Totek's Twitter account as to why he deleted said Canadian's Kent Hughes tweet. I deleted it because it got on the Montreal Canadiens Twitter and the fans started a wave of hate because they didn't understand what Hughes was talking about. And they just grabbed onto the fact that they don't need a star. This is a lesson for me to be more careful. Now, what exactly is he talking about? Well, we did have ourselves the Habs on Reddit Twitter account pretty much translating what it is that Todek tweeted out in the first place in English. I am transcribing an interview with Kent Hughes, so for now, here are two interesting statements. Everybody wants McDavid and Dreisaitl, Kent Hughes says. We'd love to have them too. But only two players have never won the Stanley Cup by themselves. Do we need a star? Edmonton is at the bottom of the table with two of the biggest stars in hockey. And this went viral. It's been about, what, eight hours or so? It's almost at 100,000 views. A whole bunch of people are replying to this saying, hey, what the hell's Kent Hughes talking about? Fire this guy. Why is he saying the Montreal Canadiens don't need a star? Why is he calling out Dreisaitl? Why is he calling out McDavid? Why is he saying this? Why is he saying that? And yeah, you know, you could say... Optics-wise, this does not look great. Why is Kent Hughes going out there and lambasting Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, a lot of all people, in the public media? But at the same time, there is a very clear idea that Kent Hughes is trying to portray with this comment. It's just... I'd say it's worded poorly. Like, I don't think it was necessary to go out there and specifically label Dreisaitl and McDavid, but... I mean, he went out there and did it anyway, so I guess we could go out there with that in mind. Kent Hughes is essentially talking about the benefits of building a complete and fully functional hockey team at all levels. You need good goaltending, you need good defense, you need good offense, you need a good work ethic, and you need a good coach. You need a lot of good things for a hockey team to be successful, not just one or two superstar caliber players without anything else. You need a good supporting cast around your star players. That is what Kent Hughes is ultimately talking about, the importance of building a good organization from top to bottom, not just getting the best two guys in the gosh darn world. Now, of course, having the best two guys in the gosh darn world would be nice and it would make your job a lot easier, but it is a fair point to bring up when Kent Hughes is like, yeah, everybody would like to have McDavid and Dreisaitl, they're two of the best players in the world, but look at where the Oilers are. They're last in the league, or one of the last teams in the league. It's really interesting the way that he goes out there and specifically says that. And the way he's implying it at the bottom, do we need a star? Edmonton is at the bottom of the league with two of the best stars. Like, there is an implication when he says it like that, that the answer that the Montreal Canadiens have is no, they don't need a star. But what Kent Hughes is more so trying to say instead is that they need... A lot of things. Not just a star, but a lot of things. I just think that the way Hughes phrased it is so... Uh, do I say careless? Yeah, I do think it's kind of careless, because for Kent Hughes, man, I get it, you may not be talking to the media that's like, you know, always on your tail, this might not be the French media, but, um, you have to be careful with your words, especially if you're the GM of the Montreal Canadiens. You can't be throwing shots at McDavid and Dreisaitl. 
Like, I saw a whole bunch of replies that were pretty funny to go out there and read. This is the main one. So, is Kent Hughes saying that we don't need any stars? And then Habs on Reddit actually replies with the Colin Farrell shrugging gif. That's kind of funny. There are a bunch of replies, as we had said, that are just kind of getting ticked off. Hey, why did he say that? Fire this guy. He's saying we don't need any star players. Maybe that's why they drafted Reinbacher. Like, <laughs> dude, that's kind of funny, isn't it? And then if you go to the quote tweets, there are even more just weird and wacky replies that are going out there. Like, oh, so we don't need star players anymore. That makes sense. And then it's the Drake gif from the Life is Good video where they're pretending to work at the Apple store. That is so funny, dude. Mike Vini went out there and actually said something interesting here, too. Picture Ken Holland saying, Everyone thinks we need depth and goaltending, but what did Carey Price in Montreal ever win? That annoys me so much when they say things like this. It's obvious that two guys can't do everything. The point is, you need some of everything. And that's true. It's just the way that Kent Hughes phrased this specific quote is really, really weird. And quite frankly, unnecessary too. Like, you could make this point without having to point out Leon Draisaitl and McDavid in Edmonton, because by doing that, you're stirring the media more, you're stirring the reactions more, you're stirring the fans more. Like, I have no doubt that there were some people in Montreal Canadiens Twitter who looked at these quotes and started to react in a really weird way. Like, of course, it's kind of dumb to react like that. I do think there is a good and understandable message behind Kent Hughes' comments. It's just, yeah, you gotta be pretty careful with the media, especially when you're the GM of the Montreal Canadiens and you're calling out two of the best players in the other Canadian team. Like, there is a specific set of rules and stuff that you kind of have to set for yourself, and making as little drama as possible is one of them. Do hockey teams need more of everything? Yeah. You don't need just one or two guys. But at the end of the day, I mean, a quote like this definitely goes viral for the wrong reasons, but either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. The Oilers are playing the Florida Panthers later tonight, so we'll see whether or not McDavid and Drysaddle are able to get back on the board. I didn't want to talk about the comments they had made in this video just yet, mostly because of tonight's game and because of these Kent Hughes comments that were really just kind of going viral the past little while. Like, you had a whole bunch of Habs Twitter fans and Habs writers, even, from all over the place responding to this and trying to calm everybody down. Oh, Kent Hughes has a good message, whatever, whatever. Oh, like this, like that. And now you have a bunch of people who don't really understand also grasping onto it, saying that, oh, yeah, Kent Hughes is saying we don't need any star players. Like, it's weird, dude. Being a Canadiens fan is weird. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Kent Hughes calling out Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid in the weirdest way possible. Do you think these comments were necessary or unnecessary? Do you think that Kent Hughes could have made this point without calling out the two best players in Edmonton? Do you think he could have made the same point without specifically calling out the Oilers being last in the standings? I do think that all these things were just unnecessary flavor to be added onto the conversation, but I guess I'm okay with it because it provides for a good video topic. Yeah, you know, we all gotta be selfish sometimes, don't we? But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.